When he moved to the area, he had been treated as many of his neighbors said he deserved. Upon moving in, he immediately made changes by painting his entire house pink. This set him apart from the rest as many in the neighborhood were unhappy. Texas native Emilio Rodriguez had found a home that suited him best. He needed a home that would support his needs as a disabled man. None of the neighbors thought about it when he moved in, but that was about to change. Rodriguez was looking for a home that would allow him to do interior and exterior remodeling. He accomplished this by moving to a neighborhood with no homeowners associations to stop his project. When he found what he was looking for, he bought the house. Nobody could stop his plans now. Emilio was placed in a wheelchair as a teenager after a terrible accident. He needed regular medical attention, often at his home. He wanted his home to be as comfortable as possible, so it only made sense for him to do exactly what he wanted with his new home. Emilio knew his neighbors were old-fashioned, so it wasn't an easy decision for him. His plans would definitely draw attention. His favorite color was an unusual choice to paint his house, and he wasn't sure how his neighbors would react. Emilio started at the back of his house first and got startled looks when people walked by and saw that he had painted it pink. Neighbors soon had concerns about what to do with this attention-grabbing color. It wasn't long before the rest of Emilio's house was painted pink every inch. His dream house became reality. As excited as he was, his neighbors got upset and discussed what they could do about the situation. What could they do? Many didn't believe he painted his entire house pink. Many just saw this strange house out of curiosity, but others had strong opinions and planned to do something about it, while Emilio didn't know about it. Eventually, Emilio began receiving threats, notably being informed by an old neighbor that he was destroying the neighborhood. The young man worried about his safety as he lived alone, but art was part of his lifestyle, and he was used to people getting upset with him. However, he never thought there would be a pink house that disturbing. Eventually, there was a meeting outside his house and Emilio could hear them talking about his home. What would happen? He made his way outside to meet her in his wheelchair and overheard them plotting to somehow deal with his pink house. He became concerned. Some neighbors were really angry with the young artist. They even tried to call the police once by making up this weird bogus reason for something that was going on at his house. Anything to pressure him into painting his house a normal color. When Emilio saw the cops show up at his door, he thought they had come to deal with the harassment he was facing for painting his house like that. He couldn't be more wrong. They said someone called them about suspicious activity at the pink house. Apparently, the police didn't find anything. When Emilio Rodriguez moved into the house, it had a beige exterior that made it resemble the other houses in the neighborhood. However, the house was much more unusual now. It wasn't the light, creamy shade you might expect. It was a very loud and intense pesto bismol pink. This was the young artist's favorite color, and it brought him comfort. Emilio became even more stubborn after his experience with his neighbors. His plans were very ambitious. Emilio planned to paint even more areas of the property pink. He wanted to paint the driveways pink, and would have all the grass removed to install pink tile blocks. He would have pink headlights on the trees and a pink car. He decided to paint even his wheelchair pink. His conflict with neighbors and his decision to paint his entire house pink earned Emilio local media attention. In an interview with KUID, Emilio explained that his favorite color is pink, so he specifically looked for a home and neighborhood, without a homeowners association to paint it that way. He said, I love this house. I don't know why people don't like it, Emilio told KUID. As for the neighbor's reaction to the nauseating color, Emilio still didn't seem to understand why anyone would object. He ended up seeing it as part of a Keep Austin Weird cultural movement. Although the neighbor found the color disturbing, the young artist believed that the color had a calming effect on him. To protect the privacy of those depicted, some names, locations, and identifiers have been changed and are the product of the author's imagination. Any resemblance to actual events or places, or persons living or dead, is purely coincidental.